Starting commentary as soon as I load this up. Right now. Hi, I'm Roger Moore, and this is your life. Obviously, I'm joking, this is every cell. I'm doing a second commentary to the Oi Mate show for some reason. There really is no point. Oh well, here we go. Right then. Um. What is there to say really about the Oi Mate show apart from it's the biggest load of rubbish ever? Um, oddly, it's called the Oi Mate show 2 mainly because there was a first one. However, the first one did get lost. Um, I mean, it, it was lost and uh, we actually lost it before we made the second one. Which means it was actually pointless calling it the second one. And it was even more pointless considering that um, no one had seen the first one. So this would be the first time anyone would have seen the OMH show. So it's called Two Pointlessly. As you can tell this is very old due to Simon looking very young. Also, um, I just noticed the car in the background, the Safira. That bus going um, past in the background just then was actually um, Daniel and James North, who feature briefly in this, uh, but that was their school bus going by. This effect here really could have been done better with a tripod. Honestly, it is terrible without a tri tripod. Uh, stolen from Shrek, I believe. I don't know what was going on with Robert's hair in that in this scene. Um, I think he did have it set, um, s spiked into a kind of Mohican thing, which was all the rage at the moment with the World Cup and whatnot. But um. It's obvious that it went out of style, and he obviously slept with it, and it came out like that, which is pretty unexplainable. Simon regrets this. I mean, he actually regrets this. Um, I personally don't. I personally think it's funny. In a weird, unfunny way. If that makes any sense. used to blast in them with uh, Green Day um, basket case I think Ugh. but still um, change that because it was silly I'm surprised how well that works as well that's just a straight cut on the camera I mean the piano link up obviously Why Simon puts on a Mr. Burns from The Simpsons voice here. Still, it does the job. Don't know how we came up with the idea for scenes. Um, seriously, I don't. Um, I don't know what was running through our minds. Let's have a robber that goes into the house and then tries to escape. Pretty stupid. Um, me walking in continuously was straight plagiarism from Monty Python. Um, Simon had recently seen the films and thought it would be funny to um, well yeah just plagiarize it basically. Um, I hadn't seen them yet and uh, went along. Obviously knowing as well it was a copy, but I didn't think it would be that obvious. Alas, seeing it since, it really is. Well... I don't know why he steals the remote added gag, maybe.
Don't know why someone is looking at the camera then. Yeah, sun it. That was great. <laughs> Originally, someone was meant to say, yeah, sucks, doesn't it? Said it came out as sun it. Again, we're just reusing the same joke as the previous sketch. Um, having the guy run towards the camera again. Really has no point. I have to say, I'm liking the uh, shaky cam, board supremacy style. Given that camera angle style was made well and truly before the Born Supremacy programs like 24, whatnot. You get the idea. Simon, um, it's wearing a rather odd hat. This scene. I think he's meant to be in the army. Who knows? Cursed. Oh dear. That dressing gown in the background I had to chuck away the other day. It was actually going mouldy. Don't ask me how or why, but it was. 